Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, Grammy's gonna be sharing her recipe on how to make sweet rice or kheer. Now this is something that is usually made for Hindu religious functions or weddings. It's usually an offering made to Mother Lakshmi or any of the devis or the goddesses in the Hindu pantheon. With Diwali coming up in celebration of Mother Lakshmi very soon, I thought it would be suitable to share a sweet rice recipe that was for a big batch of sweet rice. This right here in my description box below where the recipe is, I'll be sharing how to make a batch for a small foil tray as well as for a large foil tray just depending on how big your crowd is. And if you need a recipe for a very small batch of sweet rice, then I have that on my channel already. I'll have it linked in my description box down below this video as well. I'm putting in the rice in the pot to make this sweet rice. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is in a pot of boiling water, we're going to add in some cinnamon sticks and Grammy said you can add in some cloves, you can also add nutmeg and you can add elychee pods if you wish. And then you're going to go in with your soaked white rice and you're going to add that in and you're going to let it cook until the rice bursts. So what you want to do is make sure that that water dries up for the most part and until the rice is basically overcooked and it starts to fall apart a little bit. You want to make sure that it's almost dry at this point like you're seeing here because you don't want your sweet rice to be watery. You want it to be nice and rich and milky. If you don't let the rice burst and cook properly during this time, then when you add in your milk, it will not boil properly because the milk sort of inhibits the rice from fully cooking throughout. So once the rice bursts, as you saw in the last screen, once you see that it starts to overcook just a little bit, you're going to go in with all of your whole milk. And once your whole milk boils for about 10 minutes and until that thickens up a little bit, then you're going to go in with all of your evaporated milk. We like to use a mixture of whole milk and evaporated milk because it gives it such a nice richness and a creaminess. And once you go in with that evaporated milk, you're going to boil it down until you get your desired thickness of sweet rice. If you don't add everything in batches and you don't allow the rice to cook properly with the addition of each liquid, then what happens is the rice will sink to the bottom and then it will start to burn, it won't cook properly, and the liquid won't evaporate properly as well. So in total, whenever you're making sweet rice, by the time you add your water, by the time you add all of the milks and you let that boil down, it could take about 45 minutes to an hour, maybe even up to an hour and a half if you did not soak your rice, or maybe longer. But make sure you soak the rice so it can cook quicker. But as you guys can see, it's getting thicker here. I just need it to boil down for a couple more minutes so it gets a little thicker and then we'll be ready to go. And once your sweet rice is as thick as you would like it to be, you're going to go in with your condensed milk. Now, usually what we do is we just add in condensed milk or once in a while we'll put in condensed milk and we'll put in a little bit of sugar just to round it out. Whatever way you want to do it to your desired sweetness, you can do that as well. So in the description box, I will be including all of the proper measurements and ingredients that we use in this recipe or that we usually like to put into our sweet rice. The reason why you don't add in the condensed milk before in the process is because condensed milk or sugar, if it's added in, it will start to burn or catch at the bottom of the pot and you do not want to do that. And once you stir in your condensed milk or your sugar or whatever you're using, you're going to chop in some maraschino cherries and you can also add in a little bit of the juice if you want it to be a little pink. And you're also going to go in with some soaked raisins. Once you add those in, you're going to stir it around and you're going to allow this to simmer or boil for about five to 10 more minutes. Let it thicken up, let all of those flavors marry, and then it will be done cooking. At the end of the cooking process, you can also go in with some freshly ground elychee or cardamom, as well as a little bit of nutmeg. The reason being is because by adding those fresh spices in, it just adds a really nice warming and fresh flavor to the sweet rice. You do not want to take the sweet rice off of the heat when it is too, too thick because remember if you were having puja or you were serving this to guests, chances are you're going to have to wait before serving it. And the longer the sweet rice has a chance to cool, the thicker it gets. So you see how it's nice and a little bit runny at this point but still thick? That's when you want to take it off the heat and it will be the perfect texture. Again, if you need the recipe with the ingredients, it's in the description right below this video. Just click on the drop down menu. And if you enjoyed, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and drop those comments down below.